Today on my culture rant, let's talk about depth and duplication. Let's get it. What's going on world? So on my very first culture rant, I talked a lot about competence and the information and being a leader and building a culture that is all about competence and adding more competence and making sure that your tribe understands truly what the fuck to do in order to be successful, in order to move to that next level, truly caring about your tribe. But what I want to talk about now is more about that religion, more about that depth, but then how it can be duplicatable. So bottom line, whether you're going to talk about the science or not about the science, everyone should understand the science. Meaning, there are some neurotransmitters, your eyes, there, there are areas of your brain that picks up data, that picks up information. Bottom line, what it does is every time you see another human being do something, your brain picks up that information and analyzes it and figures out if it is conducive to who you are, conducive to what you want to do, conducive to success, conducive to negativity, conducive to uh, whatever, whatever it wants to be conducive to. But bottom line, every single human being is looking at each other, analyzing and collecting data. So what does this mean for a leader? What does this mean for a tribe? So again, like in the first video, let's say you're a network marketing leader and you have a tribe of a thousand, okay? But in the beginning, right, five years ago, 10 years ago, whenever you started this tribe, you implemented depth. You have to implement it competent action. You really cared about George and Suzanne. You really went deep into them and truly taught them how to go out there and, and attack the cold market, attack the war market. You taught them everything that you knew about social media and marketing. But not only that, you went further into it and sat down with them and understood new things. You showed them that you were a trustworthy individual. Now, what did this do for Susan? What did this do for Bob? What this did is, their eyes, their brain picked up that data, picked up that information, picked up that communication, meaning they saw what it's, what, it, what it's like to be a great leader. They witnessed, they experienced what a beautiful culture felt like. So when they go out and build their business, when they go out and be beneficial to the marketplace, when they go out and try to duplicate and try to have success like their mentor or their upline has success, they're going to do exactly what you did to them. And now it's beautiful. Now it's fantastic because not only are they going to be more beneficial, not only are they going to build an amazing culture and really provide information and wealth and dedication and pride and all the amazing things you can think about to the overall religion of human beings, but not only that, there are money attached to the side of that. There's going to be a substantial financial gain because of that culture, a substantial financial gain because of that great leadership, a substantial financial gain for their overall depth and patience and consistency, that hustle. So what you guys need to understand, if you're on your first day of network marketing or your 800th day, I don't care what day it is. It's never too late to take a second and step back for 60 days, 80 days, 10 days, five days, and really analyze yourself. Analyze your three brains, your logical brain, your heart brain, and your R complex. Really think about how you break things down logically from a financial standpoint. Really think about if you're being true to yourself. And think about your hustle, your gut, how much you know intensity you have, how much effort you have, how much you really want to put into this. And if you want to put a lot into it, if your heart is saying you can do more, if your heart is telling you can add more value, and then logically you know it makes sense financially, what you then need to do is understand the duplication aspects of it and understand that the more you put in, the more you put out to your tribe, the more you actually care and give a shit and as human beings within your tribe see that, as human beings within your tribe pick up that data, pick up that information of you applying all that information into them, spending six hours on the phone, four hours on the phone, taking late night calls, doing whatever you have to do to add value to them, they're going to do the exact same thing for the person they get into their business. And now you have a very, very sustainable amazing, productive, financially lucrative business that is ran all because you decided to put depth and really care about Bob, really care about George, add information into their mind and actually understand the mindset and the awareness and the overall um, perspective of competent action and depth. So again, 
Understand depth. Understand giving a shit. Understand how to break down all the information in your business. Pick out which is most impactful. Have a meeting, 10 meetings, 18 meetings with Sally or George. Understand who they are, their strengths, their weaknesses. Take that content, implement the content that applies to them, and then watch what happens. Because when Sally sees that you're doing that, when George sees that you're doing that for him, all the thing, only thing he's going to do is take that information and apply it to his tribe. Take that information and apply it to the people that's coming into his business. And if he does the same thing, and they do the same thing, and they do the same thing, now your tribe is going to be ringing bells about how amazing the culture is, how productive it is, and how much you have amazing human beings inside of your business. Let's get it.